Welcome back. We're back on her. We're going to take off where we left off. Woke up this morning um, talking about the windows and stuff like that. Um, we have a picture on the computer right there that shows the, the chrome piece that goes down for the, for the post that we cut out yesterday or the day before. Uh, that's what we're going to go for. We're going to try to make it look like a, what's that called? A imitation hardtop. We'll, it'll probably end up being. It will be an imitation hardtop. Um, as I look at the pictures, um, I see that the, I see a lot of things that I have to try to emulate, I guess, is the front fenders, how far they come up on the hood. That's basically what I'm thinking. Uh, and I'm thinking, you know, am I going to try to make that piece? Or am I going to try to find that piece? Uh, I really think that that's the, t the fender, a lot of the fender is a Model A fender cut. So what I see is the top of the Model A fender. The Model A fender usually comes down further. I just cut it. You know, the Model A fender comes down about here somewhere. I think it tucks way down around the front wheel or turns down quite a bit. I just cut it off to make it look like that. All this fender here we're going to have to make, which I don't see it being a problem, not at all. But right now we're on the, we're on the back fender, and uh, we're going to place the back fender on. And that's what we're going to do. And there's a little toy. Isn't that a pretty setup Jolene put there this morning? Got the blue, the black, the red, the blue, and the cars. Awesome, awesome. Uh, on, on this car, um, there's been discussion on how I should be building it and whatever. Um, the, what I'm going to say is, what I'm going to say is, is I like, I like the art of the car. I really do. I like the art of the car. If you, if you, like, it's like, it's almost like, um, like putting the door skin on the 40 Plymouth. If I let the inside of the car dictate how I put a, a panel on, it might not fit. It might not fit. And then I have to go, you have to do it, you know, fix it and then go back in. It might not fit. If I put the door skin on first and then fit the inside to it, it makes it much easier because I know the door skin fits. If you know, if I got the door on, I got the door on it and I know I got a nice gap, got a nice gap, nice gap. I can weld it on. Yes, I can. But to build the inside of the door and try to make that outside skin fit the inside, I, it's too hard for me. I don't, like, I don't like doing it that way. And as I'm building this car, I'm not letting anything dictate what it's going to look like from the pieces I have to what I want. Um, if, and what I'm trying to say is I don't want to have a chassis here and make that let that dictate what the car looks like. I'm not going to do that. I'm, I'm, I'm more of the art of the car. I'd rather build the car the way I want it to look and then modify a chassis to, to fit. Um, I don't know how they did it years ago. I did, like the, uh, um, we went to a little seminar one time at the, at the Mullen Museum. We went to the a little seminar. I learned everything he said. I learned. Um, I think he was the director of the Peterson Museum, was he not? Can't remember his name, name right at the present second. But I, everything he said, I learned. And I don't know if the you know if the body of the chassis was built by the by Bugatti and then sent to the builder. I'm not, I'm not sure. Or the body was built and then the chassis was built to the whatever. But for me, I for me, I know it can be done both ways. Jolene said, it's just like cereal. Would you like me to pour it in first, or would you like to milk first? <laughs> you know, more or less. Um, we're all going to the same place, but for me, I, w I don't want to let the frame dictate what I want the car to look like. You'll see a lot of cars out there that we're calling, people call rat rods. What, what has happened there is a lot of people has let their frame dictate what their car looks like. Y and you can tell by the design. Um, to me, that's how I how I see it. Um, yeah, I don't I don't like to do it that way. I'd rather please my eye. I'd rather please my eye and make the chassis fit the car. So whatever I show, like you know, it'd be it'd be the exact same thing if you bring a car to me. Um, you wanted a chassis put underneath of it. Well, we just cut the hole underneath of it out and set the car down on top where we get it. Get the right wheelbase and then and then we f make the floor to fit the chassis. Basically, that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to build the car. I'm not going to let 
any of the inside dictate what the outside looks like because I want the outside to look like this. I'm not going to let that anything dictate it that way in any way. When I get a chassis, I'll get the car done. I'll take the chassis. I'll slide it up underneath it. And then I will make the chassis apply to the car's art form. And that's basically what I like to do. I find it that, um, yeah, I'm, I'm happier with my product. And uh, if I let something dictate what I want, then it's then you're compromising your uh, your image. You're compromising it because you're allowing something to whatever. Uh, this here, we're taking what we have and we're making what we what we want. Um, as we as I want to go through this a little bit, you can see as as we get a cross member cross here on the, on the wheel wells. That was just to hold the wheel wells at a certain distance. Yes, it was, um, and and to be able to to apply it to the frame table. These pieces here were, were uh, strength for the, to hold the roof on and for the, for the shape of the car. You know, I use them for both. I like doing that sort of stuff because I see the shape in the exhaust pipe to make the round over to come over here. I see that. Uh, I know that this is all going to be cut out because this is going to be where the suspension and stuff is going to be. Um, if you don't know, if you haven't realized um, why uh, why these cars look so good, just why they look so good. They, they, they look so good or they look different because the fenders are so high up on, on, the, on the window area. Most of our 40s cars, the, the, the fenders are down further. Like this fender was down, uh, we'll probably say 10 inches this fender was down 10 inches on this quarter panel, we, so we've moved the fender up probably, or not, I'm not sure how, five inches we'll say, seven inches, I'm not sure exactly what it is, but we've moved the fender up quite a ways, which makes the car look better, look, makes it look smaller. So what we've actually done, is this fender, putting it up in here, we've sectioned this car, we sectioned it. And that's why the roof was so critical not to take it down too far, because when you start squashing things, it means a lot. Like you, re you really don't realize, you know, you think the roof's high, we'll chop it down three, four inches, that's fine, that's fine. But when you start lifting the fender up and, and doing all that stuff, when it comes to the inside of it, that happens. It becomes a hard car to get into, and um, me and Jolene don't care because we are into the art of the car. Like we want to, I want to make something that looks like this. But you, ha but you have to realize that's what's going on here. I haven't cut section, you know, people that think a lot of metal comes out of, the, out of the middle of it. Well, it doesn't matter where you take the metal out of. It's where it, what it looks like in the end if you've taken metal out of it. I take it out from the bottom usually because it seems just to be the easiest because that's generally what has to be replaced. But as I move the fender up on this thing, the running board's not down here no more. If you know what I'm trying to say. Now the running board's up here. Uh, now we're going to have to apply a piece of, I don't know, we'll just put something on here, come over here and hold that fender somewhat. I'm going to cut the inside of this fender a little bit and bang this out a little bit. Uh, Jolene said, why don't you use your plunging hammer? Well, once I get it connected to the car and get it, you know, get it halfway decent, then I can play with the plunging hammer because it's connected to the car and that car will hold it for me. That's what I'm thinking there. Uh, I'm going to get... Uh, Jolene to help me on, I'll, I'll bang up the fender a little bit and do that sort of stuff. Um, and then we're going to start putting this fender on and just tack it on and just start going from there. There's going to be some square tubing that's going to be welded along here. Uh, that's because the fender's rolling up on its, rolling up on it. That means that the fender's rolling up on the side. And what my plan is, is to weld square tubing on there so I can lay metal on there. For the fender to for the fender to come up, uh, and what am I going to say now? We'll uh, we'll make the outside lip on the bead roller, or we'll weld something to the piece of metal that comes out. I might use a trailer fender. I might use a trailer fender actually. Uh, they got a nice roll on it like that. Um, I'm not sure. We'll see what happens, and I might even use a small piece of square tubing. Because it's quite a long fender going up there, I might use a small piece of square tubing to weld to that fender all the way up along there to get that body line to make it rigid. And uh, 
the, if you think on the, on the Model A fender, I can run that square tubing all the way up if I have to do anything with any fender, if it's whatever. Uh, the door will be left there. When I weld this on, I will weld it on the quarter panel and I will weld it on the cowl. The door will be, I'm going to weld it on the door too. I'm going to weld it on the door too because um, that's the metal that's welded to this bar to hold the fender. I'm going to cut the door free after. Just cut the spit, that weld off there, that weld off there, that weld, that weld. Cut the door off with plasma cutter, grinder, whatever, because we're going to cap the bottom of that door. We're going to have to make the bottom of that door because it's smaller at the front and bigger at the back. We've got hinges to put in there. There's so much work to do. Just an hour at a time now, you know what I'm saying. But uh, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut the back out of that and uh, try to bang that fender out a little bit. And then I'm going to have to get Jolene to put the camera down and come on with me. We had lots of comments last night. And uh, there's another hat being given away at the end of the video today. I appreciate everybody coming back and all the comments and everything. Everything's great. Everything's awesome. Everything's awesome. I'm happy to be alive. And I got little Miss Red, Miss Red, Red, Red Riding Hood helping me today. Uh, alrighty, what am I going to do here? I'm going to take this fender off. Maybe I shouldn't even put these gloves on yet. Oh, come look at the other side before I take that off. That's hard as a rock. I had a little, little uh, hammer dolly work right there. That worked out fine. Come over the other side. Uh, we got the other side tacked in there. I took what I learned from the other side when I put these pieces in. I took what I took from the other side and did a little quicker and a little faster and better on this side. This piece here, I extended it and made it longer so I didn't get that turned down so it looks a little bit better. I didn't have to cut it and weld it. These pieces I took out of the bottom of the door and they fit really good. Happy, happy, happy. They went really good. And what's going to happen there is plunk, 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 just like it's been going. Around, I'll find a pattern. And then I'll just come around, don't, 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 don't. Then I'll go back around and do it again, just like that, one stitch at a time. All right, I'm going to knock this. And that's, I'm only telling the people that don't know how to weld a, a car, I guess. It's, if you already know, I'm, you can uh, use it or whatever you want to do with it. Use it, lose it, whatever. We have a fender here that's mucked up on the back. I definitely want it straighter than that before we do anything with it. I don't want to make a bunch of noise. Taking that off. Just want to look at it for a second. It's spot welded, obviously. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sh take it off. I probably, if I put it back on the fender or not, I have no idea, to really be honest with you. But it's in, it's in a pickle. I'm just going to snip it off and then grind the things off later. That's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to spend the time drilling the spot welds out of it. back on yeah so if you're building a car you have to you have to think about that um, when you you know you start you start making the inside first and uh, you're gonna you're, that will dictate a lot of your that'll dictate a lot of problems because it doesn't apply to the outside sometimes that's pretty yeah that's I feel like that's why they make bucks um, you you know have the buck get the car looking what it's looking like, find out your wheel, but you know, you sort of would know your wheelbase, but yeah, it would just be, the art of the car is lost if you dictate it by the shape of your frame, <laughs> really.
And all that sign language was to make my honey laugh. That was to make my honey laugh. She was giving me... She loves me. Come on! That wasn't the laugh I wanted. <laughs> all right. So I'm going to... I got a... I got a... Uh, piece of wood behind Jolene. She's got her camera thing set up on. I, I want that, sweetheart, if we can. Um, can I'm going to move my coffee cup. And I'm just going to bang this quickly. I'm not going to go crazy because I think I'll leave it for the plenishing hammer. Well, like, that sounds like a good... I'd leave it for the plenishing hammer once I get it on there, will I not? I got a piece of wood here. And I just got it scoped out, and, you know, everybody... It's kind of a, you know weird to have in a body shop, I guess, as a piece of wood. But you'd be amazed with that scoped out like that, what I can fix and what I can straighten, what I can turn, what I can bend. And uh, she's been hit many times. And all I'm, all I'm doing is, is using this piece of wood, piece, using this piece of wood for a, a dolly. <laughs> Keep the metal fit. I'm going to make a couple noises. metal is stretched. This metal is stretched. Um, the only way that I would make this fender look really, really, really nice again without, um, without doing anything and to make it look really nice again is I'd have to stretch it further because it's stretched now and when it goes out, when I plenish it, I'm stretching it further than it was before, guarantee you. And um, that's what it's all about. You're stretching the metal so you do not high enough that it looks like a flood. I just got this rubber hammer, because why not? Straighten out for me, honey. I love you. Not bad for a, for a country boy. Not bad for a country boy. Do, do. Don't matter who you are, as long as you're paying attention. Oh, jeez. Just got in trouble, boys. Just got in trouble. Hit the mic. That's got to come out. It's got to come out. It's got to come out. So what's going on here is, is the wood on this side's holding this fender, the wood on this side's holding that fender. I got it gollied out in the center, and that's let me pound down on the dents. Jeez, I'm caught, boys. Jeez, I'm caught. Man, you got the F word out of her. <laughs> Sorry about that, sweetheart. I'm not being aware. Turn the damn fender around, she says. Can you see me? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what, baby? Why? Bag on his head. He's ha ha. I meet my wife. The bag. <laughs> the unknown comic. We're not, like, let's face it, uh, there's, there's dents in it still. Yes, there is. Um, I can hit it with a hammer and a dolly. Yes, I can. I can play with it for a long time. Long time. Back there, I'm going to maybe straight, try to straighten this out a little bit. Why not? Straighten that out a little bit. That's going to be some pliers and hammer and dolly in there and beating them behind it. I think what I'll do is I'll attach it to the car, and then I can play with it. Ooh. <laughs> Did you like that, sweetheart? No, oh, turn the fin. Just going to uh, hold that there for a second. I'm going to get this corner straight somehow. Hammer around. Oh, got a little dent. 
dent going on there. Had to give a dent to get a dent. You know what I'm trying to say. I'm gonna lay it on the floor now. Use the floor as my dolly. I got a little spot right here. I wanna pick back. Try right, denting it on the wood. Not what I wanted to do, but. Scripts right there. I, I like these things a lot for grabbing things. They're, they're quite nice. Straighten that out a little bit. Come back together, man. Some of this stuff is just easier to cut off and replace. Some of it is. I'll make that decision. Some strong. Yeah, some strong. Yes, I can. I can beat and pound, beat and pound. I'm just going to just do a little bit right there, make it just look just a little bit better so it doesn't look like it's whatever. And then I can use the hammer and dolly and make some real noise. And I'll have the car to hold it. Man, disgusting. Can't be trusted right there. That's a snarled up mess. I'm going to put the, use the floor as a dolly. Chevy tough, boy. Chevy tough. If I can get that over top of that, it would make me some happy. Hmm. Hmm. It's gonna leave it for now. No, not really want to be wrestling a fender around on the floor. <laughs> Basically, that's what I'm doing. I'm wrestling it. I'll get the dents out. Maybe I'll try that punishing hammer, but it looks a little bit better than it did. Uh, I cut that out of there being happy trigger, trigger happy. Cut it a little quick, I did. All right, I'm gonna wear some weld some square tubing on that. Jolene, if you can post get your camera going there, I'll get you come on board with me and you'll help me weld that on. Okay? Um, so I'm gonna get a piece of square tubing. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna square tube that on there. hold that fender and um, that's where I'm gonna start I guess that's what I'm guessing still got my piece I can straighten that out and put a piece on that and put it back on that fender if I want to I can not sure if I will but I can I'm gonna cut that cut that off Plug this bad boy in. The art of the car. Um, I would not compromise. Yeah, I like doing it this way because I like the, the look of things. Or the way things look and this is making me happy to to make something you know just like anybody that makes you know toll painting or or does arts and crafts of any sort uh, it's a good thing keeps the brain occupied keeps the brain occupied and you know what idle hands do I 
Idle hands is the devil's broth. Idle hands. Now, I'm hoping that that's going to hit that. I'm going to turn the welder on. Put my helmet on. Geez, I'm getting a little quicker, aren't I? Huh? When you coming in? Huh? I got my, my sparkles coming in from the red corner. She's going to be on my side today, hopefully. She looks good today. Make me happy. Hope that hits it. <laughs> Just tack it on the side. Oh, I don't like where that's at. I do not like where that's at. Um. Well, that don't even want to be on there. Alrighty, let's. On this, on, oh, another thing, on, on this fender, uh, when I pulled this in, I think there was a comment, well, it's that pulled that in, that's going to change things. Well, it will for the inner fender. It does change that a little bit. But this inner fender, when it sits in there, is not going to dictate how I want this fender to sit out here. Because um, I'm not bolting it back on, and I'm going to put it on to where I like it. If you know what I'm saying, I'm going to put it on to where I like it. So I'll measure out each side because I got the I got it tacked there on the bottom. What that side should be, I got tacked in that bottom. So I'll bring it up the, the width I want it. Um, and and as as us doing that, this going in a little bit has give us inside area. Taking the fender and moving it out here has given us some outside area. So what does that allow us? A bigger tire. You know, it, not that it matters, but it does. And that's basically all it does. It does pinch on your frame rails, but let's face it, um, I am not letting the frame dictate the art of the car. You got good gloves? Them gloves you want? Yeah. All right. You you all ready with the helmet and everything? No, I got the helmet on. That's what's squeezing my head. Also, uh, yeah. Also, the piece on there, someone was saying you didn't make another piece, but we have, we have this piece, and uh, me and Jolene picked it up off the floor this morning, dusted it off, went over and tried it. Perfect. So we're good there. Also, it wouldn't have took me that long to make another one. I'm just kind of, you know, I was on, in the flow. Alrighty, you're going to be on your knees. You want a knee pad thing there, baby? I shouldn't have said that. What? <laughs> now, uh, really, let's 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 get this going here. Um, I want. That's why. I, that's why I think I want. Uh, right there, I want this fender to sit in here because I'm taking this running board and running it on top of this car. So uh, I'm I'm going to have to decide. Let's sticker, honey. Should have cleaned the fender up for you. That's good though. If it falls off. I under understand why. Cause, because the metals. Now, what has to happen is I have to be happy back here. Can you? Wow. Oh, just I like that. Can you tack? Yeah, just a second. Just a second. Just a second. Just a second. You come back and take a look from behind me. What do you think? Looks good, don't it? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All right, go for it. Okay. Yeah, please. Where, uh, yeah, whatever, wherever it's tight. Wherever it's the tightest, baby. Cool. All right. I go that, did it? Let's hit another one. 
down to about six inch, whatever. Yeah, yeah, fine. Exactly. All right, come back. Hit it right. Just hit it right there. So I can let go of it. Tick tack patty whack, give a dog a bone. <laughs> now we're just gonna look at this thing here. Let's give her a second. Do I get her too far out in the front? Do I got a too big a fender going on? I wonder if I think I come back here. Tell me to take a look, sweetheart. Nah. Do you think the fender's in this way too far? Or do you like it that way? Like to me, this part this fender this part of the fender's gotta be pulled out. So that's affecting it a little bit, but to see that, what do you think? From back here, it probably could come out a little bit more, couldn't it, in the back? Or in, in the front, what are you thinking? Out in the back or in the front? What are you thinking, like it? Okay, we'll go there. Are you saying that? Ta-da! Oh, geez, you tacked that some light, didn't you? <whistles> Let's tack her again. It's our chance to move it if we want it moved. <laughs> Go ahead, tack her. Oh, you've got to get a helmet on. I think it was scared. Where was that? Down here? Yeah, right there. Right there. Let's just tack it. Yeah. Same spot? Tack her again right around on top of your welder. Just put a little harder weld on it. Good. Hit the fender a little bit more. Hit the fender side. Hit the fender. Good. Eh. No. no, sorry. Good. Awesome. All right, let's tack. Oh, that one there popped off. That one popping off? Huh? Weld it. That one's good. That one's good. That one's scared down there. Well, I'll take this and just weld another, weld another spot down there. Put your wire right in the middle, remember? Put your wire right in the middle and then tack it. Got her? Ding dong. Just put, put it on that side of the fender there. Get her. Hard spot to weld, did it not? What? Hard spot to weld. Sort of. All right, we'll go with that. We'll go with that. All right, we're going to go there. This, yeah, okay. I suppose the, I guess it's wherever we want them. So wherever we eye it up and we want it is where it's, where it's going to be, the fender, you know? And then we'll try to make the other one the same with the measuring tape, right? We can make the other one the same with that. Well, this is, this is what I'm looking for. Well, I want the fender to go straight this way, right? You got the table there, you got that table line. You can look down that table line, look down the line of this fender. Then I want to look and see if it's, you know, I want to see if the fender's turning this way or if it should be in, like in a little bit. Um, the height is perfect, that's going good. Like if that's walled up perfect, we can bring that all together. In the back, you know, does the tail look right? That's what I'm looking at. Take a walk around, take a look. I'm gonna take a measuring tape. I know the bottom has to be pulled out some, so this one. It did not stay on that. Why didn't we not stay on that? That just means it has to come back off. No, it does not mean it has to come back off. It does not mean that. I don't even know if this is upstream, you know what I mean? 
that could be up like that, as far as that goes, if, if you know what I'm trying to say, like this bar. I'll have to put a level on it or put a little square on it. But basically, you're watching us decide. That's basically what you're watching us do. What decide. Uh, I can't tell if it's level or not with a load of... I need a level on the back side, man. I'm hoping this will work. And that will tell me if I do it on the other side. We got a bubble. See it? Whoop, whoop. Okay, so that's just got to come up. Awesome. That was just down, that's all. We'll bring that up, put it on right on level. We'll make sure that one's level, so the other side. All right there. I can just... Fluky there we were. Pull it up and make it level. But anyway, <laughs> right? <laughs> to pull it up and make it level, I mean, I can do pull it down a little bit. Hmm. I'm just, I want to look at it a couple more times before I tap it on because that's, that says it all. I did not measure tape like I wanted it to. Just notice that part. And this is what this is all about. You, and it's by eye, like, that's basically it. It's by eye. If it looks good, then we weld it. If it don't look good, we'll pass. So, six inches, and we got five inches. But, <laughs> but, <laughs> When the fender's welded on, if you come up here and you look, it looks like this fender's got to come out, if you know what I'm trying to say, as you look at this fender. So we're six in the front, where it's good, but you can tell it's, it's, it's five in the back, but you can see we get a wobble here, and it's sucked in here. So I don't know if this has, you know, that wouldn't take very much to pull that out to be a, to be a six, like the front. Like, it's just kind of, basically, that's it. And I think I like that. Better. So I think I'll leave it. This is what I'll get when I get my six. And it's hard to tell when you're, you know, we're, we're welding up crooked metal. And let's face it, I don't think, like, that looks good to me. Bringing it out like that gives it more, <clears throat> gives it, yeah, I like it. So I'm saying that's where the fender's going to be. I'm going to give it a couple more tacks. I'm going to give it a tack down the front there. Whatever the bar is on uh, this side, I'll make the bar exactly the same on the other side. So if the, when I weld it, when I tack it to the bottom of the fender, when I bring that up and tack it to the bottom of the fender, wherever the bubble lies, I'll do the exact same bubble on the other side. And it looked level to me, or level, plumb, whatever, to me. So that's good. That's good. Now I'm, going to, I'm just going to tack that on because it's, it's tight up and around there. Why would I not? Why would I not? And uh, we'll go from there. Just tack it on a little better. That's all. Oh, we had your your wire all messed up. That's what you would have to caught, right? You know what I mean? That's what you would have to caught. Wow. can't complain about a fit like that for setting the fender on. Where it does not fit, we have to muscle it. Muscle it. And that means it's either go one way or the other. It's either going up or it's going down or it's coming together. Stop it. Stop it, I said. I like spotting it, and then if I want to hit it with a hammer, it holds it for you. It holds it for you. Got them big C clamps in here. All right, now would you? 
Yeah, I'm very excited to try. That'll probably be a self-tapper or a relief. We'll see. We'll see. I think what I want to do is I want to self-tap that down first, and then I got the pliers here to get it, maybe. Right beside you. Plug this in. Anything to get it tight. Anything to get it tight. Son of a gun. Son of a gun. That's not what I want to happen, but it did. It did. And that come off. Come on. Not liking that, but I can hammer and dolly a little bit. Didn't want to have to. And this is where it comes into, you know, <laughs> this is where the body work comes in, you know, trying to make something fit because when you're doing stuff like this, nothing fits. Nothing fits. And it's just the way you go about it to make it fit. And that's basically the end of the issue, how you take and take your time to make it fit or to make the piece. Ooh. So, so really, there's no, there's no rules here, no nothing. It's all up to you and what you want to design your car as. And if you're willing to think about building the car before you build the chassis, just imagine the piece of art you could build. Don't let your chassis dictate what you need to do. Now, what happened there? I heard something. What did I hear? Was it the vice grips? Maybe it was the vice grips. Yeah, me. Ah, it come off the metal. What the fuck is that? Somebody in there? Leave this guy. So we're still happy. Oh, look, watch this. As I pull the back fender out, watch the front come in. Ooh, that looks, I like it. See what I mean? Terrible. What, what is going on here? Yeah, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to bring them down. Yes, I am. I'm gonna try not to drill, drill a hole in the fender. I'm gonna put it in that hole that's already there. See what happens. Come on, man, talk to me. I need a longer one, and I've got one. Excuse me, sweetheart. I like that. You want to see that? That was pleasure. It was pleasure. Didn't have to drill a hole in the fender itself, eh? That's why. It was already there. Hmm. I think I may just try to tap on those. 
with a hammer and a dolly is what I think I might do. How much time, baby? Huh? Oh, we're doing good, man. We almost got a fender on. Get my hand up in there. Can't get in that way. Oh, very happy with that. Very happy. We'll get it tight in one spot. My pliers. My amp's getting there, I don't think. Boo. Third arm though. Watching me scurry around here, eh? <laughs> this here doesn't fit anymore because we put the fender where we want, so we're going to have to make a piece where what we want. And I know a person that can do that. Yeah, I love it. Just pushing that third arm down there. Yes, it's frustrating sometimes welding the, the rusty metal, but I'll tell you, when you go out and sandblast it, and uh, it comes clean, the weld comes clean, all, everything you weld, it comes clean, it's some gratifying, you know, to just go out and sandblast what you need. So when I take it out and sandblast, if we, if we ever, when the car's all welded up and we do what we want to do, I would, you know, if I was painting it, I would sandblast everything. You know, we got a diesel blaster out there. And uh, I would sandblast everything. And I would be, you're so happy when it's sandblast because it's, it doesn't show any of the scars where the, where the, where the weld is. Um, it kind of gives it the, the look of, there's been, there's no work done to it. The metal's just in dull. And it looks really good. Um, that's what I like about welding it up this way. All your welds get sandblasted. We don't, you know, they get sandblasted. And it's gratifying after. We'll just dolly that little spot there. So all, every, like, all this, what I'm doing here, requires stretching or shrinking metal. So whatever which way you want to go about it when you're making things fit, it, that's the way. I mean, you can shrink it, yes. You can pound it together somewhat, use your dolly. But uh, a lot of times, uh, stretching is hard and shrinking is hard. <laughs> tight we want it and what do we want it tight for so there's less filler when you weld it up what's up sweetheart oh sorry and that's why you're getting it tight makes it easier to weld and you can grind it off nicer and doesn't make a bigger ledge we want that ledge only the distance of the metal if possible That's what we're going for. That one's stayed up on me a little bit. I think I want to pound from underneath. Watch that mic, people. Come on, let me know when I hit the mic. Have a comment or something when I hit the mic. <laughs> yeah, that'd be quite a bit, wouldn't it? We're gonna have to up this comment thing. Man, it's going good. We're gonna have to up it. Bigger gains, bigger stakes. Ouch, hurt my titty. Hurt. It's good. 
Now, as you can see, the, the fender and the inner fender will be all one. So it'll look like, well, when it's, when it's painted, this would be the black fender, obviously. And uh, this would be part of it, the inner fender, which it always is. It's just that it's bolted on. We have unbolted it. We've applied it where we want it. It's a nice fat fender. Ooh, isn't it, baby? Nice fat fender. Yeah, and we'll just keep plucking away here. I'll just keep plucking here. See, we got a little, little stretching going on or a little... Hurt my booby. Do, 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 do. Put a self-tapper in it. It was there before, so it should come back. I wonder if I can push it up with a hammer. Yeah. Yeah. I think we have a little bit of an issue going on somewhat. That's fine. That's how we deal with things. This can all be nailed down. That there is ground up quite heavy, so that could be... I see a, a beautiful coat hanger going in there. Come look at this thing here. Right here. Come in and look at the weld here. You can see how I shoved that coat hanger all down in there. Huh? Beautiful. Beautiful. Did you like that hand model going on? Alrighty, I'm going to try to get that up there somehow. And it's going to be a screw, I guess. I can see where it's tacked. I can see where it was tacked. And that's a fact, Jack. Going backwards. There we go. Put that back together. Wanted to bring it up instead of trying to push it down, that's all. Same method, just going different different ways. I got a, something in my nose, man. Cogweb or something. Somebody fighting to get in there. Jesus. You're tickling me. Can't help that, people. Yeah, them are, them are hard ones. I'm going to go beside it where it's got it held down with the with the weld. Now I can give it a tack with, or a hit with a hammer and it should hold it. So you can see there's a little spot right there about an inch away that I could probably weld or get down tight enough to carry on. So that's what I'm going to do. On the warm side again, works better. Works better. Put it tight and right. Give me a kiss goodnight, Eddie. Always think of Brad when I do that. Now look how nice that fit in the end. We, had, we, we, were, we were able to do what we wanted to do to get that down. Just by following the tackle weld and tacking it, it with a hammer lightly. When we started with the screw to get it held, we started with the screw to hold it tight, we tacked it, and then we just worked along a little bit and kept going. That's basically what I'm doing here. And if it doesn't fit for you, you can do the exact same thing. Hold that little ways, get the tackle weld on it. It depends on how fast you want to get up and down or not. Doesn't it? How fast you want to do the job. <laughs> Basically, it doesn't it? Up, do it, do it as best you can. Fast you the job done. You know what's going to happen.
coat hanger down in there. That's coat hanger. I love that coat hanger. What's that? I don't need a coat hanger, so I just tack it on a few more times and get it where it should be, get, be at. Generally, when you pack something this many times, it's on. We're happy with it, I think. Then we'll take that little bulge out of it. And we'll use the heat to our advantage when we load it on. overlapping this metal. So what I like to do is I like to start on this metal and run it over and touch that metal because I can feather it off more here on this side because there's, you know, we're down lower on this side. There's more product on this side than there is that side. So I like to start it over here and run it over that metal that way there. There's not such a ledge. If you're thinking, you know, if you're thinking about it, there's a ledge going on there. So I like to start it over here and run it over there to get that cut edge because of the simple fact is we're going to be grinding it, but we want less ledge as possible. But that's what's going on there. That's going to be welded on here. Now we've got to go with a piece like this. And that's a matter of using that to go like this. What time is it? 58. 58. And I'm not going to do that because I want to put this piece on first. If you know what I'm saying, I don't, I don't want to change the roller right this second. And uh, let's take a look at the other piece. We still got to draw for a hat. That's what we got. Okay, cool. Well, got this morning, Joey. Said, you smell good this morning. What do you got on? I said, I got a hurt on me. Maybe you smell it. <laughs> as, we, as we put that on there, as we put that on there, it was early in the morning. Uh, when you put that on there, we got somewhere the same, so it's looking good. It's looking good. We're, we're good with that. You know what I mean? We're happy with that. We'll just put it through the roller. We'll trace one of these out, put it through the roller, then we'll put that on. And the reason being is, um, I'm trying to get these little pieces on. I had to get these little pieces on, get them welded on. And I don't know if you want to see me put them in twice. I learned the second time from the first time I did. I used uh, the bottom door for this part. Uh, I think I got mixed up on one of the pieces. I used uh, the top of the door on one of them. I should have used the bottom of the door. I should have thought, you know, should have slowed down a little bit. I used the bottom of the door on the back door to fill them in because it had the same distance. Uh, the one back here, I got shy, but I know I have to do some work there. That's okay. And on this one here, I lengthened it out more to get rid of that curve down that I had on the other one that I had to fix. And that's what I learned from that side. As I go on the fender on, on that side, I will take everything that I learned on this side. Now, what I mean by that is I'll look at the distance, you know, where it's there, you know what I mean? I'll measure from the top hole to the certain distance. So I'll try to mimic the other side exactly the same, because that's what we want. Oh yeah, let's go get it the hard way. Last time. Yeah. That fits good. Man, that's good fun. Yeah, the fender pretty, looks pretty good. Now we're gonna be able to make the round piece and uh, what beside the door. So I have to, so in my brain, I have to put that other side in. So I'm gonna trace that piece. We'll do the exact same thing, weld it up, you know. It's got to be done somewhat. i got to move on. Um, i got to move on. And it's, and it's trying, right? It's still going to go up top of the doors yet and get that all ground off. It's all called time. Let's come put it, give it a hand away. Come to me, my beautiful lady. Come on. Please. 
treat you nice. <laughs> That's how you do it. Just be nice. Just be nice. Or try to be the best you can. Okay, so this is yesterday's video. This is yesterday's video? Yeah, so we're taking comments. We're taking comments from yesterday's video, and we're going to give a hat away because of it, or a t-shirt. What you want? Did you want to mix it up some? Yeah, whatever they want. Oh, you didn't want to give that trip away to Bahamas. <laughs> Not this time. T-shirt or a hat. Doesn't matter to me. Let, no, them, let, let them, them decide. You can, they can decide a t-shirt or hat they can if they like. Oh, over 500. Awesome. Awesome. Thanks, everybody. Appreciate it. If nothing else, we are something to talk about during the day. <laughs> you know, if you get on, if you're watching, like we got good people on the show, and when Jim's around, Doug's around, John's around, we got good people on the show, have we not? Yeah. Oh. That's your one. What, okay. CPT Spalding 58. Mm -hmm. uh, this car is coming together before our eyes. Another bad Chad original, one of one. Thanks, guy. That's how I feel. That's how, exactly how I feel. Um, I do not let anything dictate, I guess, um, what we want to do or go for. So, uh, what a feeling that would be to have, wouldn't it? Because I have it. I, I do not let... Yeah, I do not let things dictate my happiness. Try not to. And uh, the world feeds off it. If you understand what I can say, what I'm saying. Like, yeah. Whatever you think generally is generally the places where you're going to go, generally. Um, if you're not thinking where you're going, well, <laughs> you know, and we, if you're going somewhere, you, you should try to have a plan somewhat, you know, basically what I'm trying to say. But uh, thank you very much for the one of one. I really feel like that's true. Um, but I am getting inspiration from Bugatti, obviously. I'm taking something from somebody else. That's what we all do in life. And I hope, I hope, there's a young person out there who's taking what I'm doing and is going to run harder than I will. That's what I hope. That's what it's all about, for to build off of each other, to get better and better and better and better. And that's what it should be. And uh, that's why I have no problem showing anybody anything, because... Um, if I could grow uh, enough food to supply everybody, I would. But where I can build a car out of anything, I'm gonna show you so you can do it. Like, that's how I feel. Like, if you know something, you should tell people or show somebody. If you do not know or you've not been shown, you do not know. <laughs> Simple. All right, let's, we give the hat away. Everything's good, what's not my jacket? All right, have a good video there. Have a good day, everybody. Um, Thank you very much for the comments. And what else, we Eric? Uh, are you doing the side tomorrow? Yes, I'm going to, uh, tomorrow. Joey's going to put me in a pickle, I see. She's going <laughs> to give me, ah, I don't want to walk into that one. I walked into that one. Um, so tomorrow. You got to tell them what they're coming back. Okay, Joey's, listen, Joey's producing me. Let me know what some people would like to know, probably. That's basically it. Um, so tomorrow, I'm going to make uh, square tubing that comes up through here and the round piece that starts there. I, I would like, I'm not sure, we'll see what happens. Uh, we'll make this round piece going up. Don't know how far we'll get, but we'll give it an hour or more just making the square tubing and making the piece fit and to listen to me yak. Yakety yak. Have a good day everybody.